Hello students. Uh, today I am going to demonstrate uh, the one of the lab program and that was in uh, cyber security lab. So that lab uh, that uh, demonstration is like secure data storage, secure data transmission and for creating digital signatures using GNU PG tool. Okay. So here uh, in this lab, uh, here I'm going to demonstrate how to provide secure data st storage and secure data transmission and for creating digital signals using G uh, GNUPG. So here uh, the site is given. So uh, first of all, what we have to do is uh, through this site, we have to install the software that is GP, uh, GNUPG software from this site. Okay. So here, uh, well, uh, we will uh, use uh, the uh, GPG4 uh, bin software to uh, creating a digital signature uh, or uh, if you want to store the data in the encrypted form, means if you don't want that the, the R message will see anywhere in the you know, this original form and you want to store uh, your data or your file in encrypted form in your system so you can do here if you want uh, to send a message uh, in an uh, encrypted form or send uh, you want to send a file or images or any document in the encrypted form to uh, anyone so you can do this by GNU, uh, GNUPG so by using GNUPG you can uh, create the digital signature um, um, uh, by uh, this only you can uh, uh, store the data securely and uh, by this only you can secure data transmission okay so here the gpg encryption and decryption is based upon the keys of person okay it is based upon the keys of person who will be receiving the encrypted file or messages if any individual who want to send the person an encrypted file or message must pose the recipient's public key okay uh, receiving public key certificate to encrypt the message the re that recipient must have the associated private key which is different than the public key so it uh, so that it is to be able to decrypt the file okay so the public and private key pair for an individual is usually generated by the individual on his her or uh, his computer using the installed gpg program called cleopatra uh, cleopatra okay so um, each individual have to uh, install this software and install this program so that uh, he can uh, create their uh, public uh, create their private key and it is and then only it is, uh, he will be able to encrypt the file and it encrypted message he is able to send okay so for this we have to uh, uh, install this software so for this what we'll do we will uh, if we'll click the here okay or uh, see here uh, i'm copying this okay and uh, okay so here uh, i will search okay. see So it will be looked like that and from here uh, you can download this software and you can install this software okay but in this system i have already installed this uh, software so i'm not going to download this because i have already done so uh, now uh, after uh, installing this software the next step what will be uh, when we'll finish the the installing this software so uh, at the uh, from here you can uh, see this cleopatra uh, this uh, will be appear on your screen okay so after the what you have to do you have to click this one and then it is taking time It, it will take time so 
aquí la redondez okay so now it will come okay it will need clean twice okay i will cancel one okay so see now it's come uh, it will come like this okay so here see i have uh, created so many certificates okay so here what you have to do you have to go on file okay so new key, key pair you have to click on new key pair and here you have to create a personal open tcp key pair here so then here you have to give name meaning if uh, i am giving uh, the name aditya okay aditya and here you have to give the uh, gmail id so okay i will give uh, aditya at the rate gmail.com oh, sorry .com okay so now i have to click on next see now create so this uh, here the this uh, dialog box will come the passphrase so you have to give the passphrase that is password so i am giving here aditya one two three four okay so same you can see here also the aditya one two three the same passphrase you have to give Aditya one two three four okay so now uh, you have to uh, make a backup here see make a backup of your key pair so you can uh, make a backup here uh, output file from where you, you want to uh, store this file so if I am uh, in, in desktop okay uh, to uh, give a uh, backup pair uh, key back uh, key pair okay i'm giving the name key pair okay so now i am saving okay and uh, then click on okay okay again you have to give that same passphrase uh with here yeah. one two three four okay uh see okay secret key is successfully sex, uh, exported okay so see now i'm clicking on finish okay see here uh this is uh created aditya email if you will click this one see here so here then that uh, see certification this one you can see this is valid okay so now if you want to see the detail so detail you can uh, see here okay this one okay so now what you have to do okay so now you put this close okay so now what you have to do is you have to if you want to uh, encrypt any file okay so what you can do see if uh, uh, if in noted i can uh, write it in anything uh, see i am here okay so sign to put okay now pass this Aditya one two three four. Okay, because he's taking uh Tanya Lal Kurve at the rate.com that is another uh, pass list. Okay, so you said cancel this. Okay. Sign uh, cancel this. So This is uh, here because I have signed in as a Tanyalal Kuril and uh, .com here I have to sign like uh, Aditya okay so Aditya Aditya okay so now uh, wait. now this message has uh, is encrypted now 
this message is encrypted see here okay so this message is going to encrypt now if you want to that decrypt this okay so now it's this is decrypted okay so if you want to encrypt this message you can uh, send this encrypted message to the uh, to anyone okay so first thing is that next thing is that if you uh, want to uh, 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 want to encrypt any file in your uh, pc okay so like uh, let's see if i'm going to uh, encrypt this file okay so what i will do right click okay i will right click here see this is a uh, more gpx option okay so what we will do here uh, sign and encrypt so here again i have to change because uh, that is aditya aditya and sign and encrypt so now so see see now this is encrypted file you can see here that is encrypted file see this file won't be open okay so if this file if you want to decrypt what will you have to do again you have click and uh, this one decrypt and verify ओवर एड क्योंकि मैंने इसको इसी तरीके से कर दिया तो फिर क्योंकि ऑलरेडी एक फाइल है यहाँ पे इसलिए ओके ना ओवर राइट सो दिस फाइल एगेन बिकॉज आई हैव ओवर रिटिंग सो इफ यू वॉन्ट ओनली डिक्रिप्ट सी ही ओनली डिक्रिप्ट if uh if i remove this file okay if i always i want to delete i have deleted this file now now again i delete this file okay now so we delete we all see this file again in encrypted or uh, decrypted form is the original file okay okay and now its file is opening also okay so like this you can uh, encrypt the file or encrypt uh, any message if you want to uh, send the encrypted message or encrypted file or encrypted image to anyone so you can uh, encrypt here and uh, at uh, in uh, the recipient uh, to who you are sending the this message so in that pc also uh, this software should be installed and uh, after that uh, they have to decrypt the file using their uh, using their private key okay so this is the method how you can uh, secure this data storage so first you have to click here create the queue pair it uh, key pair and here you have to uh uh and, and create the digital signature and after that you can um able to encrypt the file and encrypt the messages what you want to uh give and uh, other recipient uh, also they have to decrypt like this only because they, in their pc also uh, this software should be installed okay so this all or uh, this is uh, the method how you are uh, going to use the gpg for okay so thank you i hope you understand thank you